What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today I'm giving you five tips on using the Weibo Lab for your travel films. So when it comes to using gimbals for traveling, the Weibo Lab is hands down the best option for filmmakers. It's lightweight, it's compact, but it can still hold up to five pounds of payload. There's plenty of cool features such as the follow focus system, the wireless HD transmission, the vortex mode, but today I'm going over five different tips that you can use to get better travel footage when you're using the Weibo Lab. The first tip is a very basic one that most gimbal users need to know how to do, and that is the heel to toe walk with slightly bent knees. The idea here is to minimize any up and down movements that you get in your footage. What you want to do is start your walking motion with your heel first and then slowly gradually roll over to your toes. And if you combine this with having your knees slightly bent, this minimizes a lot of the natural up and down movement that your body produces. And if you're still getting some micro jitters in your footage, then you can add some warp stabilization in post to smooth things out even further. The second tip is to use the tripod legs as a handle. With the new design on the Weeble Lab, you're able to unscrew the bottom tripod legs and reattach it up top as a handle to use when you're using underslung mode and to get those low angle shots. And what's even better is the new accessory that Ziring has made, and that's the transmount quick release kit. So I've got mine right here and all you need to do is pull down on this lever right here and then pull it out. You're able to really easily just clip it back on top and that's all you need to do to reposition the tripod legs as a handle. I love the new accessory. The new design to this is very smart um, and I'm able to just take it off and reposition it as I'm shooting in various different situations. And I highly recommend that you use the tripod legs as a handle when you're shooting normally as well. Because now you have two points of contact on the gimbal instead of just one at the bottom with both hands, you're able to get much more steadier shots this way. Whenever I pick it up off the ground, I almost immediately reposition the tripod legs up top so that I can switch from normally shooting to underslung mode very quickly. The third tip is to use phone go mode when you're trying to get those quick panning shots. Phone go mode allows the gimbal to access all of its motor strength so that it is super agile and fluid. You can access this mode by simply holding down the go button located on the side of the Weeble Lab. And this is perfect for creating those whip pan transitions in camera so that you can incorporate them in your travel films. With other gimbals, it's not so easy to do even with the motor strength set to really high and the results don't look the same unless you take the camera off the gimbal and start whipping it with your hands, but that always leads to shaky footage. So it's really nice that the Weeble Lab has this feature built in. The fourth tip is to use the trigger button at the front of the Weeble Lab that allows you to access full follow mode. And this mode is great when you're already using the lock mode or the pan follow mode and you need a tilt or pan your camera. You can use the joystick to pan or tilt your camera, but the footage isn't really that smooth. And especially with the joystick on the Weeble Lab, I'm not a huge fan of it, so I never use that joystick. Instead, what you can do is hold down the trigger button and you can physically tilt it up, down, left, and right. It's much easier this way because you can physically control how fast or how slow you want the movement to be. Also, you can double tap on the trigger button to reset the gimbal to its original place. And if you triple tap, it goes into selfie mode. The fifth tip is to use a monopod to get crane or jib shots. I've actually made a separate video on using a monopod with your gimbal, and I'll link it up right here so you can go check that out. Zuring has their own transmount telescopic monopod, but for this tip, you can use pretty much any monopod that you trust. Once you have your monopod attached, extend the legs and start by having your camera up in the air and then slowly lowering it down until you get your shot. And you can do the reverse as well for a different kind of effect. One of the shots that you kind of see a lot in movies and it's where the camera starts up high, like maybe behind leaves or maybe it's like shooting a sign or like some sort of like architecture or something and you slowly jib down and you reveal your subject, he or she is walking or they're having a conversation, doing something else. Um, and it makes a really cool, unique looking shot. So that's it. Those are my five really quick tips on using the Weeble Lab to get better travel footage. If you do decide to try out these tips, make sure you link your video down below so I can check them out. And if you want to grab a Weeble Lab for yourself, I've left a link in the description down below. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified for more videos. I'm going to be making more tutorials on the Weeble Lab, the Crane 3, other filmmaking stuff. So make sure you subscribe to stay updated. My name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.